guys, I'm back. I'm back, back, back. <laughs> back with a bang. I know I have been away. Everyone has been asking, why is Raw Talks with Pinks? When are you going back to the channel? So I am back finally after what? A year and a half? Yes. I think I went away around uh, July 2022. Yes. So yeah, thank you for your patience, guys. Uh, and thank you for those who were catching up with my channel while I was away. Uh, one or two times I've been going back to the channel to check the views and I realized that some of you have been uh, watching my YouTube channel even though I was away. So we are back on Real, Talk, Real Talks with Pinks. Uh, you will have to bear with me. I went away and yes, some of you know why. So I will tell you now. <laughs> I went away to go and have a baby. So I was on maternity. I was away from the channel because I was on maternity. I was raising my son. And uh, I wanted to get into the hang of motherhood. And then I'll come back and do my hobbies like this one. So yeah, um, the channel is back. And I think I've been asking a couple of people to give me topics what we'll be doing this year and the upcoming episodes. So you're welcome to drop down all the topics that you want us to discuss this year. You are welcome to uh, suggest uh, guests that should come to the channel. And you are also allowed to say, I want to share my story on Real Talks with Pinks. We are still talking about real stories that uh, human beings experience. Uh, the topics we'll be talking about range from motherhood, how to navigate, uh, our corporate jobs with uh, our family life, how to balance. Uh, we'll be talking about divorce, co-parenting. We'll be talking about careers. We'll be talking about a lot of things, uh, mental health issues, which I'm quite passionate about. So uh, our topics will range from finance to how to save for your kids. Now that I have a child, I'll be bombarding you with such topics. <laughs> But yeah, so uh, maybe just to share a bit, because I think there's three people that I'm gonna mention that I owe a story to. But don't worry, I'll be sharing it uh, with my upcoming guests who are coming next week. Uh, there's three people, Dismel Ramafiking, Tato Mukhotu, and then Debi Mukhos. These are the three people that know that growing up, I've always said I don't want to have kids. So when I fell pregnant, they kept asking me, but you owe, you owe us a, a video on what made you change your mind. Hey, why are you having a baby? This, that, this, that. But yeah, I told them that you are allowed to change your mind. Obviously, what I know now in my mid-30s, what I used to know 10 years ago, it's not the same things. So yeah, because um, maybe just to share a bit, uh, when I got married in 2019, it's been five years now, um, uh, I did share this with my partner that I'm not too sure that I would love to have kids. Not that I had anything against kids, but you know when you're growing up, uh, there are people that know for sure that this is what I want. I want to have kids. But I've always been those people who are like, uh, I'm not too sure, maybe I will not have any kids at all. So I think three years into my marriage, uh, they call it the baby bug. It hit me. Suddenly, I don't know what happened. Uh, I just felt this edge that maybe it wouldn't be such a bad idea to have a child. It wouldn't be such a bad idea. I think I grew up in a family where I had um, many siblings surrounding me. I grew up at my grandma's and I've always had uh, the benefit of having uh, my aunts, my brothers, my sisters. And I knew that is, that is really beautiful and this is a structure that uh, I grew up in and I thought it was healthy. So when this bug hit me three years into my marriage, I shared this with my partner. Uh, and I think we, 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 we shared the same sentiments of not being sure about having kids. And I think this is a blessing on my part. Um, my partner has never pressurized me about having kids. He was really saying, this is up to you. If you feel like you're not ready or you don't want to, that's fine. Uh, but when it finally hit me, he said to me, oh, well, that's fine. I don't think it's a bad idea. Maybe let's just try one. Uh, this is where we, we were. I think this, is one, this was in 2021, around November, December. 
Um, at the time, I had been taking pills, my contraceptions. I've always been taking my contraception. I was dedicated because as someone who knew for sure that, uh uh, I can't stand my giving a child being unprepared. I just always used uh, contraception. Uh, so when it finally happened, I stopped using it. Um, and thank God, I think I will share this uh, because I think it's important to share these types of stories, especially about conception, uh, whether you struggle or maybe you don't struggle, just so other people can know this, especially because there has been negative stories that are going around about conception, especially in your mid-30s. I know a lot of people will say, have your babies or have kids in your 20s, you won't struggle, this and this. It's worth sharing that I'm one of uh, the people that didn't struggle to conceive at all. And I thank God for this. I'm, I'm quite blessed. Uh, I stopped taking contraception in December. And uh, I think in January, um, I thought I was late for my period and then I took a pregnancy test, but it was negative. And I think uh, my expression was kind of disappointed that's when my partner was like actually you are ready to have a child because immediately when you become uh, disappointed uh, when a, a pregnancy test comes back negative this means you are ready to have a child uh, but then i think a month later uh when we finally took another one uh, this time i was actually way way late uh, i was late with over two weeks with my period so when we finally took it uh, this time around it was positive and then we, we had to confirm it. We went to see a doctor. Um, uh, this is not a secret. Uh, my gynecologist, Ki Ausidino Letlala, Dr. Letlala. I think for people that follow me on Instagram and Facebook, uh, I shared bits and pieces of my pregnancy. Uh, and I did say I've been uh, going uh, hard, Dr. Letlala, uh, when I was pregnant. So she did confirm this, and we were overjoyed. Uh, and at the time, uh, because 2019, all we did was sign in South Africa, as some of you are aware, my husband is South African. So uh, at the time, uh, we were doing our traditional wedding, which was quite overdue. It was supposed to happen in COVID, but then was postponed to 2022. So when we finally did our um, traditional wedding, I, I think I was, was this in May? Yeah, I think I was three months pregnant at the time. Um, a couple of my friends who were toasting and enjoying some wines and stuff at my wedding were like, why are you not drinking? Why are you not drinking? And I was just like, ah, ah no, I don't, I don't want to. <laughs> so, yeah. Uh, I think one of my friends at the time, uh, either an Edisimelo or D. Or Tato Mashuk, I think one of my friends said, when you're pregnant, there's just no way. You don't even want to toast. You don't want to do anything. And I just kept laughing. Um, a few of you did say later when I shared with you that, uh, indeed, uh, I'm pregnant, you did say, oh, you were glowing at your, at your traditional wedding. So we did see that uh, you are pregnant. But, uh, but then it's like, you know. So honestly, this is just bits and pieces of, of why I went away. So obviously nine months later, which was in 2022, uh, November, I was blessed with a baby boy. Uh, some of you have seen my baby boy on my stories, on my Facebook, on my Instagram. Uh, and I really wanted to share this because um, a lot of people say things about uh, people who choose to get married in their 30s, who choose to have babies in their mid 30s like me. Uh, so I just wanted to share a good story to say, uh, thank God I did not struggle. And secondly, I enjoyed my pregnancy through and through. I am not going to lie. I did share this with a few people at, at my work, uh, that in terms of morning sickness, I did not have any throughout my pregnancy. I only threw up only once. And this, is, this was in my first trimester around April, that was the only time I threw up. Uh, I was able to eat everything with the exception of pork. Pork was the only thing I couldn't stomach. But otherwise, um, I ate everything and I enjoyed food that I used to like. And uh, the only thing that I ate too much was grapes and uh, yogurt, strawberry yogurt in particular. 
Um, but otherwise, even 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 in my journey uh, at work, uh, I think I used to tell my boss this that uh, the only thing that would bother me is being tired, especially uh, in my last uh, trimester. I think anyone who's been pregnant, they know the last trimester is usually a very crazy one where you're just so tired, you can't even sleep at night because your belly is quite big all those things but in terms of struggling with sickness in terms of so many other things that I've heard uh, when I was sharing my story with some of my friends who were pregnant at the time uh, honestly I'm blessed I can't relate uh, they used to tell me scary things uh, I mean uh, we know that pregnancy is sensitive some people can't carry to term some people struggle with um, a fibroid some people have uh, other illnesses uh, but uh, my gynecologist used to say, oh my God, at your age, you are really caring well. At your age, you, you don't have complications. And I think when I finally gave birth in November 2022, obviously I had to transfer to another gynecologist in Cape Town, uh, which is where my family is based. I think the doctor that side, uh, when I was going to give birth, he said to me, oh wow, you are such a healthy 35-year-old. <laughs> and he was like, uh, you know, officially when you're 35, they declare that uh, you might have uh, issues uh, with giving birth normally. You might have issues uh, with other illnesses. And there's, I think there's a test that you do to see that uh, your baby is growing up well and doesn't have complications, doesn't have... What is this other disease? I just forget the name. Uh, but... Everything went well, uh, and I mean, it's not a secret to share that um, I, I didn't give birth naturally. I never wanted to. Uh, I think it's too dramatic with modern medicine. Why would I do that? Um, uh, I went through a C-section, uh, and um, I enjoyed the experience. And yes, it's painful when you have to recover the first six weeks, but it's not that dramatic, guys. Let's just be honest. Honestly. Uh, I thank God for modern medicine. I thank God for a good job. I thank God for medical aid. I just thank God for everything that um, at our age, when you do things in God's timing and in your own time, uh, then you are prepared. Uh, because I don't think I would have had, had the same experience if I, have a, I had a child 10 years ago. I was not ready emotionally, mentally, financially, and otherwise. And the one thing that we should share that we shouldn't shy away from uh, the, there's a joke that goes around, and I don't think it's a joke. I think it's meant, uh, I'm going to say it in Sesotho because in English, maybe Helena Yutrahan. There's this thing, some things are jokes, but some things, yeah, uh, I don't think <laughs> that is a joke. I think it's those things that people say. How about our shababat? And yeah, hopefully, like our humu temu, kana kwe nukare. Our journeys are different, and I don't think we have to compare. For people who had kids immediately when we finished varsity in their twenties, by late twenty three, twenty four, that's still fine. And then for us who pursued our careers, who followed our dreams and other things, and then decided, you know what, uh, settling down, marriage and kids will come later. Um, this is the only thing that I know. I, I don't know what would have happened 10 years ago, but I know for sure waiting for me personally, Kilipinki, it worked for me. Personally, I feel like I wouldn't had, have had a full life if I would have had a child at 23. And the good thing is that at the time, how do I feel about kids? But waiting for me worked for so many things. I think we underestimate uh, issue, some of the things that people share. I have friends, I have family, I have a sister. I have, like a lot of friends will share with me, Hore. We may not say this because sometimes this is issue, Hore. There are things that we would have loved to go through before we had kids. Because, Bana, if we're not lying, it's not a child's play. Financially, they are taxing. Emotionally, even physically, because your body is no longer the same. And otherwise, so 
I think how we underestimate this issue are once you have a child, your life will never be the same. Even just me coming back to the channel a year and a half later, it's because I just wanted to give my child the attention that they deserved. They deserved. And I also just wanted to get into the mental hang of things. The one thing I think I struggle with ever since I've had a child is memory loss. And you can tell okay, at my age I'm still young, but I'm just like, I need to go back. Memory loss, memory loss, you know. Uh, write things down, go when at work, appointments, such things, I have to diarize everything. But otherwise, it's been a full um, journey with me. I enjoy it so much. I have support of my family, my friends, like everyone just around me has been so supportive. So thank you so much, guys. Even people have just commented on, on my personal Instagram or Facebook to say, Oh wow, so you are away because, oh wow, your child has grown so much. Of course now he's way older, he's turning 18 months and I'm so, so grateful about that. So I just wanted I should share with you guys, we've been sharing people's stories, but this was my turn to say I'm back on the channel. So please uh, comment down below, tell me some of the topics that you want us to discuss. Uh, I'll be bringing uh, exciting guests uh, this year and yeah, I'm happy to be back. So let's uh, engage. Uh, Real Talks with Pinks is back. Uh, let's get back into the hang of things. Uh, I will see you in the next uh, episode. You know what to do? Comment, subscribe and share the video so that we can share our stories with many more uh, other people. So thank you so much for watching. I'll see you in the next episode where I will be inviting uh, guests. Bye for now.